Congratulations to Joseph Parker for taking Deontay Wilder to school, winning every single round on the judges' scorecards. Leading up to the fight, I was wondering why Wilder accepted to fight Joseph Parker ahead of an Anthony Joshua mega fight. That didn't make a whole lot of sense to me because stylistically, this fight was a nightmare for Deontay Wilder. This fight is actually 20 to 30 times more difficult stylistically than an Anthony Joshua fight for Deontay Wilder. Even though ironically, Joseph Parker lost to the undefeated version of Anthony Joshua. However, since then, Joseph Parker got better while Anthony Joshua got worse. One thing about Joseph Parker is that he can take his opponent's best weapon away, such as Deontay Wilder, right hand. He can nullify that due to the fact Joseph Parker is mobile. He's not stiff or robotic like Anthony Joshua where Deontay Wilder could land a punch. More importantly, Joseph Parker has great defense, which anytime you have a heavyweight that's heavier than Wilder with great defense and great footwork with skills, that's already a nightmare for Deontay Wilder all day, every day. On top of all of that, Joseph Parker could take a punch. He has an iron chin. However, Wilder really barely landed tonight, and that's because his jab was non-existent. I mean, if Wilder couldn't land a jab, how you expect him to land a right hand? Now, the problem here is Wilder didn't even try to land the jab first. I mean, you can't set up the right hand before you set up a jab to land. Really, a lot of what Wilder is doing in the gym, he's not executing with that when he's in the boxing ring in an actual fight, which credit to that goes to Joseph Parker. His skill, his counterpunching ability was the reason why Wilder wasn't able to land anything along with his footwork, so on and so forth. But even if Wilder was worried about Joseph Parker counters, he could still throw a snappy jab from a distance that Joseph Parker can't counter him at. Since Wilder is taller and has longer reach, Therefore, there's multiple ways you could approach that situation, but clearly, all Wilder tried to do was land a haymaker right hand without setting it up. Nevertheless, congratulations to Joseph Parker. This was an impressive win. Hopefully, we get to see him against the likes of Usyk and Tyson Fury next, if it's possible. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.